Hi everyone, welcome back to this tutorial. We can discuss about the organization of microprogram based computer. Okay, so we can start from the basis of a digital computer. A digital computer consists of a CPU, memory unit, and IO devices. And CPU can be classified further into its processing unit and a control section. Here, in the case of a microprogram based computer organization, we are going to consider a microprogram based control unit organization. So, in such case, an important part of a microprogram based control unit is a microprogram sequencer, which is actually act as an address generator unit. Okay, so now we can consider the various parts of a microprogram based computer system. A microprogram based computer consists of a memory unit, two different processing unit. Two different processing unit means one is an address processor and the next is a data processor. Then a microprogram sequencer and a control memory actually comes as a part of this control section and few other digital functions also okay these much units are needed for the organization of a microprogram microprogrammed computer okay the memory unit stores the instruction and data supplied by the user through an input device so now we can consider in detail about the circuitry of a microprogrammed computer organization so uh, uh, we have already uh, mentioned about different part of this microprogram computer like two different processor one is an address processor and the other is a data processor this one is for processing micro operations and here we have the memory unit here we can store data and instruction and this address processor is used for processing the address information in order to support memory access operation. And the remaining portion, this much portion, actually form the control unit, microprogrammed control unit. Right? So first consider this address processing part. This address processor consists of a program counter, memory address register and instruction register. We knew that all about all these unit. Program counter hold the address of next instruction to be fetched from this memory unit. And this memory address register. This one actually act as an interface between this memory unit with other part. This memory address register must hold the address of an instruction or a data which is to be fetched or uh, which is to be read or write from this memory unit okay whatever we want to perform over this memory unit particular memory address must specify here in this memory address register now here we have this instruction register so this one is used for holding an instruction after which is fetching from this memory unit after fetching an instruction that must place here in this instruction register. Okay, so these activities are controlled by this address processor. Okay, here we have this data processor and address processor are separate. Sometimes they are kept as single unit. While keeping these two units separate as separate, here we have an advantage that is we can use separate set of wires for transferring address information and data. That is the advantage of keeping these two units separately here. Okay. So after fetching an instruction to this instruction register, here in this we have certain bit of instruction called instruction code. That instruction code is given as an input to this code conversion part. Right. This code conversion is actually a mapping function which is implemented using a PLA or RAW. Okay. That instruction code is converted to form an input to this microprogram sequencer. 
this input to this microprogram sequencer is an address information that address actually indicate a particular address of macro instruction of this control memory so here in this instruction register we have a certain bit of bits of information called instruction code that instruction is converted to form an address information that address information act as the static address of certain macro operations which is present here in this control memory starting address of certain macro operations so sometimes we need a code conversion the bit of information what to convert into corresponding address information okay that address information is provided as an input to this microprogram sequencer right and uh, this particular microprogram sequencer is controlled by various inputs this program microprogram sequencer we have already discussed about the circuitry of this microprogram sequencer in our previous video this one is actually act as next address generator unit based on the output of the sequencer we can fetch different control memory words each and every control memory words indicate different micro instruction so after fetching different micro instructions from this control memory which is placed here in a special register that is pipeline register okay so this is a special register which is used here in order to speed up the activities the presence of this pipeline register speed up the activities how because using this particular instruction currently available in this pipeline register we can start the execution of certain micro operations using this data processor or this data processor can start the execution of micro operations which is specified here in this pipeline register at the same time we can generate the next address information using this microprogram sequencer that next address information is used for fetching the next control memory word that is to be passed here in this pipeline register next so due to the presence of this pipeline register we can start a pipelining activity so here we can start or we can continue the execution of certain micro operations using this data processor as well as using this particular circuitry we can generate the next address information using that information we can fetch certain control word from the memory and after completing the ex uh, instruction execution we can fetch certain instruction from the memory and is loaded here in this pipeline register okay so we can parallelly execute this address generation operation and micro operation execution so this pipelining activity actually increase the speed of our operation okay so this pipeline register actually here it indicates different field value this different field actually indicate different field of our micro instruction which is fetched from this control memory what are the different fields here i sl bra mc ps and dm i means act as an input to this sequence micro program sequencer this is three bit information act as an input to this micro program sequencer next this sl a selection field of multiplexer this field value act as a selection bit of this multiplexer so based on this field value this multiplexer choose one among these different status information as its output right based on this selection field value this multiplexer choose one among these different status bits as its output which is taken as a or uh, which is given as an input to this test field this test field is test whether the status uh, bit value is 0 or 1 if it is 0 
then this microprogram sequencer decide next we want to fetch an instruction which is present sequentially next to the current instruction that means if the status field value equal to 0 that means we need to fetch an instruction from the control memory sequentially if this value equal to 1 in that case if the status value or the status bit value after this testing operation it is decided that that value equal to 1 then it decided that we need to load an external address information or we need to fetch an instruction uh, which is not sequentially next to the current instruction okay so in that case we can uh, load from an external address information we can load an external address information or we can consider this particular address field information this particular address field of the current micro instruction indicate and branching address information this branching address information support branching in our program execution that means we can jump to somewhere else in our program we can stop sequential execution and we can jump to somewhere else in our program okay so in that case this particular address field information of our current micro instruction is used this uh, branching address information support conditional branching and conditional branching as well as subroutine execution all these are already discussed in our previous video so these three field of information actually used for controlling the activity of our microprogram sequencer and next three field is used for controlling our processor and memory activity this mc is field of information which is used for controlling our memory access operation read write operation over this memory this ps for selecting the processor activity okay then this df data field this data field usually hold a constant value we can pass this constant value to the processor directly without involving this memory okay sometimes we can pass data from memory or sometimes we can pass data from this constant field value of current micro instruction to the processor the passed value we can store temporarily in processor registers usually this constant values are used as a limiting condition for our micro program looping operations this constant value decide how many times we want to execute our micro program looping operations such constant value we can directly pass through this data field of our current micro instruction okay so all these are about the organization of a microprogrammed computer right so the uh, advantage of such a microprogrammed computer organization is that once the hardware configuration of a microprogrammed cpu is established the designer can use it to construct any possible computer organization once the hardware configuration of a microprogrammed CPU is fixed, then designer can use the same configuration in order to construct many possible computers. How? How it possible? If a different computer with different set of instruction is desired for constructing a different computer without changing the hardware configuration, what we want to do first, we want to generate different set of instructions and also we want to change our microprogram control memory we need a new control memory in which we need to specify the set of micro operations we want to perform in our new computer okay so after deciding the set of instruction and the microprogram control memory 
using the same hardware configuration without changing the hardware configuration we can simply remove the current control memory with the new control memory okay so the new form of our computer and this will generate a new form of our without violating or without changing the hardware configuration simply changing the instruction set as well as the control memory we can generate different computer based on the same hardware configuration so all these are about the features of microprogrammed computer organization okay thank you